Did you know that the damping ratio zeta plays a crucial role in how systems respond to inputs? Let's explore its impact on the step response of a second-order system. The step response is directly tied to the system's transfer function, which can be written as g of s equals omega n squared divided by s squared plus 2 zeta omega n times s plus omega n squared. Here, omega n is the natural frequency and zeta is the damping ratio. When zeta is less than 1, the system is underdamped. You'll see oscillations in the response, but they gradually settle. The smaller the zeta, the more pronounced the oscillations. For example, a system with zeta equal to 0.2 will oscillate much more than 1 with zeta equal to 0.5, but as zeta increases, these oscillations reduce faster. When zeta equals 1, the system is critically damped. This is the sweet spot for reaching the target value quickly without any overshooting. A critically damped response is often the goal in many control systems because it's fast and stable. If zeta is greater than 1, the system becomes overdamped. The response is stable but noticeably slower. There's no oscillation, but the rise to the target value is sluggish. For example, a system with zeta equal to 2 takes much longer to settle compared to a critically damped one. Let's compare these responses side by side. For underdamped systems, you'll see oscillations that fade over time. A critically damped system transitions smoothly and quickly. Overdamped systems, while stable, take longer to reach the target. The damping ratio clearly determines the system's behavior. So, the damping ratio zeta is like a tuning knob for your system. From oscillatory to smooth and slow, it defines how your system reacts. Next time you design a system, remember how zeta shapes its response. Subscribe for more control system tips.